Hello, this is Todd Martin from Solid Shell Security, and I'm back with another video, and a video with another one of my very, very, very cheesy PowerPoints, but sort of interesting if you absolutely don't know anything about computer hardware. <coughs> uh, if you're somebody who's always owned a computer but never actually opened it up and looked and saw what is inside. So this is a computer hardware introduction, and I plan to make some videos going a little bit further into detail on some hardware. So, uh, really, really basic components is a motherboard, a CPU, which is a central processing unit, RAM, your hard drive, uh, your cooling system, your power supply, and of course, any kind of uh, media insert you have, which is usually DVD, CD, floppy disk, or USB. A uh, motherboard is kind of like my opinion it's the heart and soul of the computer because that's where everything connects to that's where everything happens kinda you have your CPU in an area such as this right here and there's already a CPU there your RAM goes along here then you have these PCI which is extra cards that do things like uh, video uh, networking um, along those lines then you have your onboard stuff, which is like uh, where you uh, slide in like a USB on the back or your uh, onboard audio input or outputs, kind of along those lines. Next is the CPU, which is the, which is the central processing unit. Um, other than showing you a picture, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about what this does. Um, you guys have been following my programming videos and you guys absolutely have no idea what goes on on the hardware level the CPU is one of the most essential spot uh, most essential places the RAM and the CPU whenever a program is ran it goes to the CPU and the CPU delegates it delegates it memory on the RAM and actually does that's where the processing is so whenever you run your program it's like ran in here but your variables and everything is stored in the RAM and RAM. Um, you got two main types of RAM. You have your desktop RAM, which are long pieces, then you have your laptop RAM, which are small pieces. Then you have different kinds of RAM. You have DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, and now they're working on DDR4. So once again, um, your variables and everything, uh, whenever you write, whenever a program is written or is ran on a computer, um, variables are stored in the RAM. Anything that that program needs to run that has to be stored is stored in the RAM. Your hard drive. Uh, this is a SATA hard drive. You can tell by the plugins here. Uh, SATA is the newer. The other one is the big block with a bunch of like needles kind of thing. ATA. Uh, your hard drive is where information is stored and I'll make a video going a little bit more into the storage of information but um, I always say that uh, computers are very much designed after us humans uh, the CPU, RAM, and hard drive are kinda like the brain you know because you got memory then the processing and memory once again so your hard drive and your RAM both deal with storage hard drive is usually long time storage RAM is short time storage used for programs to run at that instant then you have your uh, cooling systems your two main types are the fans with the heat with the heat sinks as you can see on the left side of the screen and on the right is a liquid cooling um, if you know anything about cars and radiators liquid cooling in a computer kinda works the same way you do have a radiator Then you have power supplies. Power supplies is uh, from a wall jack. Power companies send current in DC form, which is direct current. Or actually alternating current, my bad. Uh, alternating current is cheaper for them to do that. Power supplies kind of, it takes the power and of course it supplies the correct amount of power that the computer needs to the motherboard but it also transfers from AC to DC from alternating current to direct current which is what your computer needs to run uh, next we have our DVD, CD, and floppy drives um, if I'm making this video in 2013 and it's kinda of funny that I'm actually talking about a floppy drive 
floppy drives, considering that you really haven't, you know, it's probably been about the 90s since I've seen a computer sold with a floppy drive. But, once again, you have uh, your DVDs, you go out, you buy a computer, it has some sort of media drive. Uh, in today's day and age, it's CD and DVD and a desktop. But as we're starting to see with laptops, they're starting to cut out the DVD and CD drives. So maybe we'll start to see that too in the uh, desktops also. So that's a very basic uh, introduction to computer hardware, just the different parts and kind of like their jobs. I'll get a little bit more into depth than some other videos into exactly what they do and how they work. So that's it.